Additional Support for Learning Inquiry Report Short Summary The Education, Children and Young People Committee held an inquiry into additional support for learning. The inquiry focused on three themes. The presumption of mainstreaming and how it was working in practice. The presumption of mainstreaming means that, where possible, children and young people with additional support needs ASN, are educated in mainstream schools alongside other pupils, rather than in special schools. The impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on additional support for learning The different tools people can use to sort out problems, for example, when there is a disagreement about the type of support a child with ESN might receive. The inquiry looked at how the Education Additional Support for Learning Scotland Act 2004 has been working in practice. Inquiries into how laws have worked in practice are known as post-legislative scrutiny. The committee issued a call for views based on the three themes and received 590 responses to the English language call for views. Twenty-nine responses to the British Sign Language version and one response to the Easy Read version. The committee heard evidence during February and March 2024. The committee wanted to hear more from people with personal experience of additional support for learning. It wanted to know about the issues they faced and what more could be done to support them. The committee met with young people, inclusion ambassadors, parents, carers and teachers at participation sessions on February 19th and March 4th, 2024. The Inclusion Ambassadors are a group of secondary school-aged pupils from across Scotland who have a range of ASN. The committee was concerned to hear that pupils with ASN do not always get the support they need in mainstream schools. Where a pupil goes to a special school instead, sometimes these schools are a long way away from their homes. The committee said that pupils who go to special schools should be able to go to a special school near to their home. The committee said that the Scottish Government and the Convention of Scottish Local Authorities should update the Additional Support for Learning Action Plan and the Code of Practice to make sure the needs of all pupils are met. The committee was disappointed to hear that the way that some schools are designed can make it harder for some pupils with ASN to learn. For example, if there are lots of big open spaces and lots of noise, this can be overwhelming for pupils who are neurodivergent, for example, with autism or ADHD. The committee recommended that the Scottish Government and the Scottish Futures Trust SFT, should look again at the support and advice provided to local councils about this. This would help ensure that schools were designed to suit all pupils. The SFT is the expert body in Scotland for the public sector in developing infrastructure such as schools.
The committee also said that the Scottish Government should think about whether the law needed to be changed to help make sure that new schools are suitable for all pupils. The committee also thought there should be new guidance to help existing schools know what improvements they could make to be more inclusive, for example, to help learners with sensory needs. The committee heard that it was important for teachers and pupil support workers to have regular training to help them do their job well. They should have enough time to do the training and it should cover lots of different types of ASN. The committee heard that there are lots of people who deliver services to pupils with ASN. This includes people offering education, mental health support and or speech and language therapy. The committee said that different organisations should work more closely together to make the most of the money that is available and to make sure that pupils with ASN get the help they need. The committee said that learning for pupils with ASN should be more flexible. This might include using part-time timetables or delivering lessons in a different way, but only where this is in the best interests of the pupil. The committee said if there was a disagreement about additional support for learning, for example, if a pupil or parent thought more support should be put in place, then it should be easy for them to know how to complain. The committee didn't feel that this was happening just now. It said that the Scottish Government should consider changing the law to make it easier for everyone to know their rights and how to challenge decisions they disagreed with.